if you have been following this show for a while, then you know that we have wanted to tour Telesi Views for quite a while. In fact, I've been posting many clips of Telesi, but finally, we are here to do a proper tour. And behind me is a four bedroom marshalnet standing on a quarter acre, 363 square meters, price 37 million all the way to 39 million depending on your payment plan. This place gets very nice views of Nairobi. However, since we are in the backyard, I want us to go all the way to the front yard. We'll come back here later in the show. For now, follow me so that you can see what this place has to offer. So the Tilisi master plan is 400 acres. However, you have different developers putting up different kind of projects. For example, last time you were here, we saw the uh, Tilisi Maisha Mapia and Maisha Macau. Those are apartments. But within Tilisi, you have Tilisi views, which are these marshalnets, and uh, they are all the way to the third phase in terms of completion. They have a fourth phase, which they are working on. This third phase is called Elgon. You have your gate, coming uh, from down there and you drive all the way up. This is your front and uh, you can park a, a couple of cars here and uh, this gate leads to your DSQ and your laundry area. We're going to see that space before and some of the exterior things I like about this house is about, for example, these chain links and uh, we have these steel, exposed steel beams and you have these steel windows. By the way, they are very, very neatly done. What do you think, really, is about these steel windows? Yeah, they are, they are very neatly done, and yeah. the fact that they got them to yeah. do if, like a in fact um, they look like al corner. they look like aluminium windows. Yeah. Until you get closer and you realize it's steel. It's steel. Yeah. And uh, the windows are big, True. and you are going to see that from outside, which means there's a lot of natural light that goes inside the house. So there's also uh, a space here that you can use to access the backyard where we did our intro and you're going to see that space later on. Meantime, let's go inside the house and uh, see what this place has to offer. So immediately you walk in, I love how massive this door is. It's very big and uh, it's even, you can even feel the heaviness of the door, still fabricated with a bit of wood and you have this entry porch uh, with a mirror there, you have a table console there. The staging is perfect and uh, we are going to see a lot of nice, nice things in this in terms of staging. Follow me. And now we're inside the house. Uh, behind you, Willis, there's a staircase that leads upstairs and then we have a common bathroom. And even from that space, we have a big window that bling, brings in tons of natural lighting. So one of the things that we are going to constantly talk about this house is natural lighting, like you have never seen in any other house. And uh, moving on, this space, you have your dining area, very spacious as you can see. And from here, I can look down on the sunken uh, sitting area which has a very high ceiling because it's sunken, but you're going to talk about that later. And you can see this, uh, this framing, metal framing, and uh, this wooden accent. And I mean, even the scutting is very good and clean. You can't even tell it's scattered, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, very neatly. What do you think about the staging, Willis? I think the staging is awesome, and yeah. I like the fact that they have incorporated almost all the elements, steel, uh, yeah. Wood, wood and, and, yeah. and the bricks as yeah. well. And even the colors in the house. Yeah. It, it looks, the house is cool but also warm, yeah? Yeah. And I uh, have this uh, dining table, dining setup. The, the, I love the table again because you, you know me and angles, yeah? Yeah. You can see this. Make sure you the show legs. people that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some people complain that we don't want to see tables which you can buy. Um, I want to come to your house and see your table. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> yes, I want. I want to come and see it. Or but you can you can post a video. Or you can us. post a video of it if you actually don't want to see it. But I think it's important just to show you how you can set up your spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes people get very nice houses, but they don't know how to set them. Yeah. Set them up. 
and uh, the interior design of this place has done a perfect job. We're going to make sure we leave their contact there so that those people are interested uh, in these setups can find it. I want to move the shears a little bit because I want to show you these windows. Very big. Look at that, Willis. Yeah. Tones of natural lighting from every angle. Yeah. If you have a window behind you, you have a big window here, almost floor to ceiling, yeah. which again, Perfectly lights up the yeah, dining yeah. area. And even makes me forget to talk about this uh, chandelier, chandelier setup, yeah. which is which is really fancy, warm, lighting. Yeah. I love it. And um, I mean, your space is just beautiful. It has been uh, a dream of mine to tour this house for a while. And the fact that you're finally doing it, I'm very happy. So you'll see me excited in the show, probably more than often. But uh, this, I mean, I'm very happy to do this show. And this is your kitchen. Before I forget, there's a sort of a small bar set up here. Again, we see the wood uh, trim. Very nice block. I love, I love how it has been done. Very simple. In fact, I want to pull this chair. Just sit here. And I mean, I can imagine having a conversation with a person cooking here and I mean, it's dope. And I like the fact that despite it being an open house, because your sitting area is sunken, there's yeah. some privacy when you're making your meals. True. You, you know, one of the things that uh, open plants take away from, you know, people is privacy. Yeah, but in this case, privacy. yeah, because of these such aspects as the sunken sitting area, then someone doesn't feel like their privacy is taken away. And uh, the kitchen falls on. I like the backsplash. Again, this wooden shelving, this lighting. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, you have. Uh, you have these uh, lines there. It's, it's a really beautiful backsplash. I like it. Yeah. 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 And uh, you have uh, your your tops, your granite tops, and there's a window here to ensure that even as you're cooking, you're enjoying natural lighting. And this ensures that the kitchen gets tons of natural lighting. Very big from here all the way, and you can open them up to bring in uh, fresh air. You have these top banners, uh, five top banners, and. Uh, Willis, yep. before I forget, I have to show people this. Yeah. I, I'm a sucker for details. And this house, the, look at this, soft cross. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for me, such as some, some of the things that I look at uh, when I'm looking at a house, and they impress me because it shows you that the person who did the house went an extra mile. And the cabinetry is really clean, seamless. I love it. Uh, these handles are hidden and they made good use of space even such a space not going to waste so you have a rack here where you can store some stuff and uh, moving on you have your smoke extractor there well hidden yeah so you, you don't have it exposed it's it's really makes it look clean and seamless and going on you have this uh, glass door cabinetry I love glass door cabinetry because it means you can see what is inside I love even this wooden shelving. I mean, the details for me, and the, the natural trim warms the space up. Yeah. Um, double sink here, and this is a proper double sink, and I know people are wondering what I mean by a proper double sink. So some spaces you have seen a double sink that ends here. doesn't come with this space where you can press stuff, yeah? But for me, a proper double sink means you have this space where if I'm cleaning some things, I can press them here so that they dry off and the water can flow back to the sink. So developers again, that's a very important segment and I love that Tilesi views here went all, all out. Yeah? And uh, back to this space, you have your fixed appliances, you have your oven, oven that is, and your microwave. Yeah? And you have a space for your fridge and basically gives you an idea of what you can do with the space. And this is uh, more cabinetry for you. You know, I love these handles. Yeah, yeah. They are really, I, I find them uh, pretty and seamless compared yeah. to those handles that. Uh, yeah, they they fit in better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the black tone fits really well. Yeah. And uh, the kitchen is well lit again, but because of the natural lighting, we even forget to mention that. And uh, here you have your pantry. Very spacious by the way. I'm sure Willis is going to capture that and show you. And uh, flowing on, there's a door here. And you can even see that this door brings in tones of natural lighting that opens up to your 
laundry area and uh, the servant quarter that I mentioned when you were uh, on the front yard. So you have a sink set up here, a very important space to have and enough space. This is more than enough space. And this area is really big. You have a place for your washing machine, your dryer in case you don't have them in two in one. And uh, I mean, look at all this space. This is the gate that I mentioned when you were in the front yard and that is your front area. And uh, moving on to this area, you have your servant quarter. Uh, so very big by the way again this servant quarter gets tons of natural lighting even the servant quarter is not left out when you're talking about lighting and uh, you have uh, this wardrobe i mean good sizing and a bit of open shelf uh, more cabinetry uh, let me close this door so that you can see the space and this is the bathroom for the servant quarter which is also very spacious and I mean, we have seen some places where the servant quarter is very small. You even wonder how someone is going to use that space. But in this case, it's good size. And moving on, you have a space here where it's, it's like a storage area. Because when you live in this area, you have a lot of stuff to store. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> and your water heating system is there. And uh, one thing, really, let me mention. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that this water heating system is not so big. Because in cases where you have this so big, like we have in some places I've seen, it means your electricity bill will always be crazy. And people who have this kind of water heating setup, they know what I'm talking about. So this one is good size, especially for a, a family of four. Or, I mean, this because it's a four bedroom house, I assume maybe it's a family of four. So, so it's good size. Here you have a space so you can store your gas cylinder. And uh, this leads to your front yard to your backyard, sorry, where we started the show, and we'll see that space later on. And can you see how the grass is neatly, you know, trimmed, trimmed yeah? Yeah. Uh, really. So far, what do you think about the house? I want to hear think, your sentiments. Yeah, I think it looks nice, and yeah. I like the, how they yeah. have utilized space. Yeah. And especially considering the SQ yeah. and your servant space, it's also quite a good thing to do. Very special, right? Yeah. I even forgot to, to mention this, uh, more of like a console and a very good spacing you have a very nice artwork there and uh, follow me so that we can look at this in fact willis before you follow me yeah i want you to start there so that you can feel me from down here you have your sitting area this is your sitting area and now maybe people can understand how sunken it is from that angle yeah so you are willis is standing by the dining area and uh, i mean look at this space it makes this look like a double ceiling and then you have this staircase windows going all the way to the ceiling from floor, floor, floor to ceiling all the way up let me pull the shears back so that you can see this space i want people to really get a feeling and this is a corner corner window yeah yeah i love corner windows yeah some of my favorite aspects and uh, from this view it means at night i can see nairobi city lighting up I can see GTC, and rem remember, Teresa Views is on in sort of a hill. In fact, the faces are named after mountains. Yeah. For example, where we are is named after Mount Elgon. It's Elgon, yeah? yeah. There is Churu, and there is Logonot, there is Abadeas. That's because it's on a hill. So it means, in fact, people who have met me to Teresa, the best way to understand this is if you have used the Limuru Road, Limuru Roaka Road, to, uh, driving at night yeah and uh, you can see when you're driving down after just passing Remoro you can see Nairobi lighting up yeah? so imagine those views from your sitting room <laughs> and uh, a few weeks ago we filmed GTC we also filmed Broadwalk which is next to GTC I can see all those buildings from here my goodness I can only imagine the views of this place at night and with the whole city lighting that that for me is and then i can imagine having have a penthouse at broadwalk or uh gtc then you have a you know like a, a a country home it's not really a country home because it's not so far from nairobi it's only 30 kilometers from the cbd but um, it would be nice to have both have the city views when i'm in the city and still have the city views but countryside sort of feeling you know, from here. Like I said, 
I'll be very excited about this place, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm blown away. This is a place, I, I before we came here with Willis, I had told him that this is a house I would buy, and Willis was saying, ah, but uh, the cold. And when we got here, Willis, what did you tell me? <laughs> I'd absolutely love to have this space. Yeah. Yeah, because I was comparing it to another space where it was a bit warmer. Yeah. But uh, I think I can I can withstand the climate at yeah. here because yeah. like uh, it's, it, this is just beautiful. And now you understand why I love it. Yeah, I understand. And the houses are well done. <laughs> and again, you have another window here, bringing tons of natural lighting in. In fact, they make these lighting features look um, yeah. like they're just meant for decoration. True. Because you have so much natural lighting, you you might never need this to be on. Yeah. And. Uh, this, we saw this wood trim when we were on the other side, on the, at uh, the dining area. Yeah. It ex now in this case, it is open, so you have this open shelving. I like this because it is, it's a nice place to display your, your family pictures, your books for those who are book lovers like me, and you have this uh, table console. I mean, the staging again. The staging, my goodness, it's yeah. well done. I have to commend the people who did it and for all those people who have been asking for interiors, these are the people you should talk to. i make sure that I put their contact there. You have this simple seat setup and this carpet. You have a very nice table. For me, a simple setup wins every day, anytime. And I can just see myself sitting here at night uh, with a cup of coffee, enjoying the views. There's a gas fireplace there, so, I mean, you, you won't even feel the cold that people talk about Limuru. Some people find uh, Limuru to be a bit cold, but for me, especially because I was, uh, I've been brought up in Kinango, which is colder than Limuru, this place is, is, a, is a jam. This is perfect for me, and it's enough space. I, I like how this sitting area is it's just, uh, sort of warm and especially this uh, stone cladded uh, chimney it, it, it makes um, it sort of warms up the place yeah yeah and I'm like again I keep saying I'm totally excited about this show do you and think you can have a TV in this room because I know you are not quite a huge I'm fan not I'm TV. not a TV person yeah and uh, I wouldn't have a TV in this room yeah uh, maybe upstairs because there's another uh, family area. Mm -hmm. I can have a TV there, but in this room, I can just imagine lots of books yeah. in that uh, open shelving. Mm -hmm. And uh, at night, we light up the fire, the gas fire, and enjoy the views with a book conversation. I can just see this place being a place of conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So no TV, no no TV, my friend. I, th I think for me, I will uh, choose one of those sections and have like a sort of three to four, five yeah. uh, whiskey yeah. bottles. <laughs> Mathenge, Mathenge would love to do that as yeah. well. Yeah? yeah, I can see all his whiskey collection. Collection there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice place to We have. should probably do a tour of his house because <laughs> it would interest people to know that, uh, I mean, the yeah, man the man loves himself. Yeah. So <laughs> moving on, I like how this uh, uh, fireplace is open, by the way. Yep. Because it is uh, from the sitting area, it means when the fire is lighting up, the gas fire is lighting up, you can see it on the other side. On the other side. And there's well. another sitting area here where we are going. And th these are some of the aspects that makes me love a house. And... I mean, makes makes a house more of a house. You have this uh, cabinet here again, which hides your staircase area. And this space is so huge. Let me show you by moving in. Yeah. It's very big. You can see. So I can actually stand here. So you can have a desk set up here. If you yeah. have kids, they can do their homework here. Yeah. And you can have another book. It can be like a book storage area. You can do a bit of shopping. You can store. You can store a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Toys. I think I think this would be a a good space for us to have uh, our equipment inside yeah. there. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> so for us, because uh, we're into production, it means we do have all our production equipment here. Yeah. Uh, and we do very nice shopping and uh, you know, I mean, this this is a very fantastic area. And moving on, you have this uh, open area. It's decorated. Uh, more like a kids' play area. I like it, by the way. And I can see, I mean, if I'm hosting people in this house, then I can see some people enjoying this space. Yeah. Again, 
there's a window here bringing tones of natural lighting. I can open that so that people just uh, get a feeling, a proper feeling of this house. And I think I almost forgot to talk about the wooden floors. Yeah. yeah. And being a cold, cold area, to have these wooden floors is a plus. It's a good thing. Uh, it warms up your space. I like the tone. It's very neatly done, by the way, and therefore beautiful to see. And moving on, this is the first bedroom. And there's a bathroom here, really, so I want you to show them that. Very big window. I say natural lighting. And in this channel, you people know that you have a standard for bathroom windows. Yeah. When I talk about doing a proper bath bathroom window, I talk about this size, yeah. Yeah. Either it goes all the way down or expand it this way. Yeah. Yeah. But this is very good size, and uh, the shower room is very big, as you can see, very spacious, uh, grass enclosed. You have your rain head there, and you have your toilet there. You have your floating vanity. I love this setup because it's open. Yeah. Only open spaces so also. Cabinetry. Yeah, no cab hidden cabinetry. You have your sink setup. You have a big mirror there, and. I mean, even the look at the the fix, the top fixtures. Yeah, it yeah. looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. I wonder. Let's see where they are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, these houses come with a water heating system, solar water heating system. So you know you're not paying uh, for your electric. You're not spending money on heating water. You already have that sorted out. And now we're in the bedroom space. Another window. With this, yep. I don't know whether your camera will capture this from inside or outside. Yeah, but people need to see how this is slanting. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. I can I can see how it's slanting. You can see it. Yeah, I but I think on the outside uh, we'll show both of the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and these windows can actually open like that. Yes. So, so you can have air you have uh, 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 fresh air coming in. Actually, both of them can open. The, yeah, the, both both of them. By yeah. the way, yeah, you can also open it just to show people. Now you have you can even feel the breeze on my face yeah. and it's a big window yeah big window and it's not the only window in this house you know yeah. people are probably thinking uh, this is the only window in this house so let me close and, that and and i get why they would have those uh the windows that are you know like this they're opening like yeah. that yeah. because this is quite uh, a windy place oh yeah being uh, at the top oh, of yeah. yeah instead of and it's, also yeah. the design of the house which yeah. is not very common to see. Yeah. We have been to many places, but we haven't seen uh, many of these slanting walls. Yeah. Again, it's not just the window area that is slanting. Yeah. This Even wall there. is also yeah. slanting. And it sort of makes your room bigger. Feel bigger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is very nice architecture to see. Uh, your wardrobe. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of setup in a wardrobe. Yeah. And I love how <laughs> there is so much light in this room. You have drawers. Uh, very much a lot of space so this is a very good uh, size and you have a shelving uh, space there you have uh, your your bedside tables i love again the staging is really well done you have these wall lights let me see if, ah yeah you can switch switch them on like that just to light up well yeah light up the mix uh, add some mode into the room uh, i mean like i said we have a, wanted to tour this place for so long. In fact, if you go to my timeline, you'll see another picture that I took sitting on this same seat. <laughs> so now we're finally doing the show. So very happy about it. And another window here, because why not? Yeah. One is not enough. Why not have as many as possible? So TVC is, and this person, the person in this room, again gets the views of Nairobi. Yeah. Very beautiful very views. Beautiful I views. believe at night that place, uh, it is my hope that you'll be able to capture that. I'm not so sure, uh, but we'll see. And if you're able to, I would be delighted just to see that place at night from yeah. this house. And the mirrors in these wardrobes are so big that you have enough natural lighting and you have uh, big mirrors. What else do you want? And the bed is also really neatly done. You have your art piece. Let's move on with this because we have so much to see in this house. And now, I want us to go outside so that we can see the back space and talk more about it. So this is a steel door that leads to your back, back area. And this is a double, so in this space is open and gets a double ceiling. I can see someone putting a very nice chandelier here. And you get to now appreciate the beauty of this cladded stone, you know. 
this that stone goes cladding. all the way to the top. Yeah, 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 all the way to the top. It's a very big space, and uh, we are going to see more of it when we go upstairs. And now we're outside. These doors, by the way, are heavy duty, heavy duty banner. Good quality. Yeah, good quality. Yeah, very good quality. You need uh, to use some, uh, some strength yeah. when moving them. Follow me. And now we are back where we started the show because we want to show you some exterior aspects of this house and make you appreciate them. I like how these windows are so big that you can even see the lighting, yeah? With this you can see those lights, yeah? yeah? you can see the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's really beautiful. It's a very beautiful house. The architecture is really fine. And this is the slanting wall that we are talking about. And uh, I hope really you can get this on an angle that shows people how it slants from down all the way up. All the way up. So even the bedroom upstairs enjoys that slant, yeah? Yeah. And uh, you have these windows, all these windows open from here all, all the way, way to the top. Yeah? yeah, all the way to the top. And uh, you have this sort of wooden like uh, cladding which, uh, you know, breaks the monotony of it. At the stones, yeah. Huh? The, yeah. yeah, the wall. The, and you have your greenery backyard, the grass is well trimmed, well Good. kept. Yeah. Very nice house, very nice house. And from here we can see the balcony that uh, serves the master, uh, master bedroom, yeah, that we'll see later in the show. And I mean, from here I can enjoy the views of Nairobi, so I can see uh, Willis, I'm sure you would love to host very nice parties here. Yeah. And uh, people would enjoy Nairobi views. You yeah. have people walking around this area and I mean, my yeah, goodness. There is a, a soft barbecue party. Oh yeah, having have, a barbecue parties in this place. You can have just a sitting yeah. space yeah. here, people yeah. just... And before I forget, we have a... Uh, when we were at the front yard, I talked about a... Uh, uh, yeah, that leads to the backyard. Yeah, this uh, sort of space that leads all the way to the front yard so if you're hosting a party your guests don't have to go through the house, through yeah? the house they can yeah. just come directly here and access this place and again i said we're on a hill so the views of nairobi doesn't matter how many people put up apartments all over yep. there you'll yeah. always have yeah. those you views up here so. yeah you can see gtc you can see um britain towers you can see the prism you can see 88 towers it's a bit hazy today so we you might not get the picture, but basically you can get uh, the picture. And for those who want to understand where Tilisi is, it is 30 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, 25 from uh, Westerns, just before you get to Remuru. And uh, on this other side, you have the Roaka Remuru Road. So, and from that side, it's about four kilometers to Tilisi. So that's basically the geography of Tilisi. I remember on the, when we toured the apartment, someone asked, where is Tilisi? Again, this is a 400-acre master plan, so there's a lot of projects going in. There are international schools, uh, we also have uh, shopping areas, you have a clubhouse with a gym, with a swimming pool. You have all those nice things that I mean, come with a good estate and this is, uh, there, you have uh, farms offering logistical uh, you know, solutions, light industries and uh, I mean, you can basically work and live in Tilisi. So it's yeah. like a city of its own. It's a whole ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you want to access uh, Nairobi, it's just a stone throw away. So now we want to go upstairs so that we can see what they have to offer on that side. Follow me, Willis. And uh, first we come to this space. And <laughs> Willis, I want to talk about, uh, I want you to see what I'm seeing from this angle. Yeah. Because, uh, Please show them. You can see, again, you can appreciate the this stone cladding. Yeah. You can have a very nice chandelier falling down. You have your sitting area exposed there. You have the open shelving, and you have the dining area, you have your kitchen, and uh, you, you have your front porch there. I mean, you can basically get a good view of your house, of your from, house there. Yeah, from this angle. Yeah. The architecture is really well done. And before we see this room, I want us to go to this other side so that uh, we can appreciate this. When I said about natural lighting and being happy about this show, I'm excited. Yeah. So you better be as excited as I am. <laughs> and I'm talking to our viewers in that case. Again, a big window. We saw this on the front yard. Yeah. Yeah, it's a corner window again, and uh, brings in tons of natural lighting. Uh, look at that. 
look at that. Let me move these curtains, these shears, so that we can appreciate all that light. And then you have this table set up here, and it can be a workplace. Uh, you can use it with so many things, yeah? Yep. And um, see, so it can fit like two chairs here yeah, yeah. as a work desk. Or even more. This, yeah. this space is very big, yeah? You yeah. have some drawers here. Like I say, the staging is masterfully done, yeah? Yeah. It's not just done to finish or to, to stage, but it's really well done. I like the tone of this uh, chair. You can just sit here, relax. Again, a place where you can have conversations, work from. You have this uh, cabinetry set up here. Uh, more storage within this space. It's this open shopping. Nice table. I almost forgot to mention that. And again, from here, you, you can enjoy the view of your house. Yeah. Look down on it. I mean, I if you imagine. had a chandelier here, yeah, it yeah. would have been a yeah. very big. Like the house we were visiting yesterday, yep. the chandelier would really fit well. Yeah. Here. I, I felt and I'm really sorry to say so. I know some people don't like it when I give my personal opinion, but this is why I do this show. That chandelier felt too big for that house. Yeah, but it was especially the, with that space. Yeah, that felt the space too, was small. Yeah. Yeah. But in this case, because this is a bit bigger, that chandelier would fit really well really yeah. well yeah, yeah. sometimes is you have to be very keen about what you go for and uh, my advice to people is not to do their own interiors yeah. because today you see this tomorrow you see that and you want to at all but when you sit down with a professional and you talk about it they'll they, advise you according they'll, to your they'll, space. they'll advise you according to your style and they they sort of narrows the temptation of you bringing everything yeah because you can't have everything you have to choose you have to be very selective yeah. They say something is perfect when you can no longer add or take from it. Yeah. So think about that. So follow me so that you can see two bedrooms that you have here. I'm going to start with this one. And I immediately walk into this bedroom. We are welcomed by this space. Let me try and see if the can yeah, be I got the lights on. And uh, really this is this is a walk, like a walk-in closet. Yeah. Again with a window. So you're not you're not looking for your clothes uh, in, uh, in, uh, in dark, yeah? yeah. You have uh, also lighting. You have lighting, very nice lighting. You have this uh, tilting lighting that yeah. you can tilt like that, and uh, you know. There's also lighting from the top. And so, you have lighting from yeah. the top. You have a window there bringing in terms of natural lighting. You have this very nice wardrobe, similar to what we saw in the other room. And you have your bathroom here. And your bathroom, I like how they went with the window on top. Yeah, the yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. Almost like a skylight. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's very cool. And you have this mirror here. I know Willis is trying to escape the mirrors, but yeah, definitely. it'll definitely be caught somewhere. You have this open vanity. Yeah. Again, very nice display. The sink there, you have your toilet there, and you have your shower room here. The tiling again, the tiling, I have to commend them. This place is tiled all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And and it looks like because of the roof line of this house, this bathroom is so has so much space. You would think yeah. it's a double ceiling for the bathroom. Yeah, and the head space is yeah, yeah. Remember, if you saw how the house the house looks like this, so you yeah. have uh, these areas extending upward. Yeah, that's why you you can see that space looking like that. And uh, this bedroom looks so big, so spacious. Uh, in this case, it's staged like a kid's uh, bedroom, and. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for this space. You have a window there bringing tools of natural light. You have another window here because one is not enough. Yeah. <laughs> Again, slanting because of the roof, uh, you know, the, 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 the layout of the, the, layout house, of the yeah. house. And uh, again, that very high ceiling and this sort of, you know, ceiling, you can, the gypsum ceiling, you can see it really. Yeah. Yeah. Very simple. It's not on your face, literally done. And I love how this this uh, window, uh, because it's slanting, how do you make sure that the curtains don't slant with yeah. the window? So they extended that, yeah? Yeah. They were, and, and that, is, that is good picture. You have to appreciate uh, this house for what it is. And now let's go to the other bedroom so that you can see what it has to offer. Ah, you have a wallpaper here and uh, yeah you know in the this is the third bedroom and on this side we have the bathroom let's just have a look at it again you have this uh, vanity open vanity setup a mirror there your 
toilet and your walking shower with a rain head and you also have a hard held yeah 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 so and i love these fixtures they're yeah, really they're, they're really beautiful yeah they're beautiful. i love I, I love how they they place the rain head on the other side yeah and the other oh and the other one yeah yeah, yeah in most cases they are together, they're together but yeah. in this case they're separated yeah. i almost didn't notice it because <laughs> of that separation because yeah. i'm used now i'm used to seeing them together together yeah, yeah. and again you have your wardrobe here one thing you have to to be talk about Willis is yeah. that the wardrobe is so it's a lot yeah yeah it's it's huge yeah it's a huge space in most cases <laughs> developers yeah. are going to hate yeah. me for this but in most cases start from here to here to there. that's yeah. the, the biggest we see yeah but in this case why not have an extra one yeah and uh, this room again gets the beautiful views that I'll be talking about of Nairobi at night and you can see you can now sort of appreciate the layout of the house from these yeah. angles and it's it's a very big bedroom. They're very spacious, yeah. Yeah. And you have a desk set up there. You have a kids bed set up there. And uh, now I want us to go out so that we can check out the primary bedroom. So you're going to pass by this family room that we saw. All the way, will is follow me. This door opens to your primary bedroom and uh, Willis, I don't know whether we are going to close this door first because I think we should start with this area first, huh? Yeah. Or should I start with this area first? Let's I'm start with this. Okay, so this is your walk-in closet and it's big. big you have big. this side, you have this side. I mean, I feel like I walk into like a clothes store. Yeah. And uh, you have an early day strip lighting this area. So it is sort of warms it up and I mean, I would enjoy this. Mm. I would really enjoy this bedroom. And I've done short clips of this bedroom before because I've been to Tunisia a couple of times. And today, today is the day that we show you the, the full show. So I have to open all those bedrooms just to showcase them, to enjoy them. Moving on, look at all this natural lighting, really. It's amazing. Willis, because I've talked about this uh, bathroom so many times, I want you to talk about it because this is the first time you're seeing it. Yeah, uh, I feel the, the bathtub is a, it's a good touch. Yeah. However, I would love it to have more views, so I wouldn't yeah. like it to be attached to the yeah. wall. To the but wall. I understand how they can, yeah. like because of privacy. Yeah. 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 However, can you come closer here and tell me whether you can see GTC from here? Yeah, I can see GTC, yeah. but the thing is I can see it when I'm in the bathtub. Yeah. Well, what I understand is because there's a, you know, a lot of people have issues with privacy. Yeah. That's why they have this faulted yeah, glass. Exactly. Yeah. However, if you change this to a clear glass, yeah. you're going to see GTC from your bathtub. Yeah. 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 So, and enjoy that uh, city lights while well, still uh, breathing in fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't get that in many places. Yeah. And you have to appreciate this corner window. True. The size of that corner window. It's we're, really we're seeing quite a lot of light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in fact, the lights here are not on. Yeah. But look at all this lighting. And then you have uh, this vanity setup. Really nice. Uh, with a single sink, I but still appreciate it because I appreciate the design. Yeah? yeah, really well done. And you have this uh, mirror setup again. Like I said, I love this, uh, you know, fixtures. Yeah, 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 very, very nice, very beautiful to see. Yeah. And um, uh, the thing is, they yeah. should have used that space, yeah, for another vanity with yeah. the same yeah. uh, setup mm -hmm. because we can, we can have a his and hers. I sort of get why. I get the, I got that same feeling when we, the first time I came here. Yeah. But I think they went with a single sink because of this sort of vanity. The yeah, way it is, the, it is, the design. Yeah. But if you, I, I imagine, because this is more like staging, if you want uh, to pull it all the way, yeah, you can, you can, you can bring it. it all the way here yeah. and have your uh, double uh, sink. Double sink. Yeah, yeah. And house. yeah. And uh, on this other side, you have this cabinetry setup because. Why have one cabinet set up in your well, bedroom? You have both. When you can have both. <laughs> and this can even be a makeup area. Yeah. You can set up a mirror there. There's even a, 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 a lighters. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a lot of natural lighting. 
and you have your washroom. I like how they separated it. Yeah. So you have your toilet here. Um, again, a lot of natural light, but the windows are frosted. Yeah, for those so who worry privacy. about privacy. Yeah. And uh, here is your shower area. And look at it. It's very spacious with the hard head again separated from the rain head. Yeah. And it, it feels the rooms because the of the high ceilings, they feel so, so airy too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so let's, uh, I mean, I, 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 every time I come here, I don't get enough of this bathroom. I want to spend more time, but I know the show must go on. So follow me. And now we are into the master bedroom, or rather the primary bedroom. You have this slanting window that we saw from outside. Let me just pull the curtain so that people can see it. Yeah. Yeah, really, really nice. And you can also see the, how the slanting roof line. This one slants at an angle, and uh, the, the other roof line slants, slants well. at an angle. And they sort of make the room very big. Yeah. In fact, this room feels bigger than actually looks. Yeah. Yeah. And you have this uh, uh, setup here where maybe people can use it for makeup. And yeah. uh, as I always like to enjoy men, even women as well. You can use this space to worry about paying your mortgage <laughs> <laughs> because the, the price tag is, uh, I mean, it's quite high. And you have your bed set up here again with um, these, uh, you know, down, uh, lights and very nice bedside tables and a nice artwork. I love the wallpaper they went with. Yeah. 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 And uh, you have this very amazing lighting fixture. I think in this house we, we keep forgetting to mention the lighting fixtures because of yeah, the, 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 yeah, natural light. the natural light. Yeah, that comes so in. much that you don't need. You don't need all this other lighting. And um, this primary bedroom gets a balcony, a very huge balcony with Nairobi views and uh, also tea farm views because we are in what largely makes Tigoni, and uh, this area is appreciated for its tea. People drive all the way here just to see the tea and uh, hey, look at all that. Ah, my goodness. So that's where the crab house will be. Maybe we really so can show them that. Yeah. Uh, they are still working on the crab house. Uh, there will be a swimming pool, there will be a gym. Uh, like I said, this place is 400 acres. It is tarmacked. They are jogging uh, rain lanes, walking lanes, cycling lanes, they have gardens. You have uh, shopping centers, you have schools, you have light industries, and they are well separated such that um, you actually don't notice the light industries are there. You have to transverse the whole area to see them. And you have apartments on the far end, you have uh, these machinettes. They also have uh, a, other, um, they have land that they're selling, that is uh, quarter acres and half acres for people who want to build their own homes. So in case there are people who don't want to buy this, this kind of setup, they want their own designs. So you can buy the space for that. They have 17 plots that they're selling. And uh, for any inquiries, they're going to make sure we put uh, their details below uh, so that you can contact them. And in case you want to consult us, you also have a contact there in case for any consultation that you want. But. Uh, I mean, I just want to shut up for a minute and listen to the birds. The, ser the serenity of this place is just uh, something else. And I can definitely see myself living in this place. And man, enjoy the views. I can see Kilimambogo. On the fire, again, it's hazy, so our cameras might not be able to see that. But damn, the views, my goodness and the knowledge that the city is just, you know, it's like the, it's, it's like the city is on your foot here. Yeah. yeah, it's like an hour drive. It's an hour drive if you're driving slowly. Yeah. And on a, if there's no traffic, I mean, 30 kilometers is not much. True. So you should be able to get there faster. Um, so again, you can enjoy the views of your backyard from this level, from this balcony and what a show, what a show. It's been a pleasure to go through this house and just showcase it to you people. 363 square meters is quite a lot of space. Yeah. And uh, I think they have used it well. What, what are your last words about the show, Willis? Um, 
do you think like if you can maybe if you want yeah you can put on a swimming pool here so that you can be able to dive from the um balcony <laughs> i would love that i would love that i don't know i from what uh, i heard from one of the marketing uh uh people who yeah. are for TVC. yeah dennis he told us uh, that uh for you to do additions you have to talk to yeah the to the management yeah so, so because at the end of the day you have to maintain some some control yeah to maintain yeah. the aesthetics yep you don't want everyone putting up their own and, stuff. and also the quality of homes oh, yeah, in yeah. this space yeah the quality of what you're doing yeah so but i think a swimming pool would be very beautiful yeah however i feel because there's a swimming pool coming with the club the clubhouse yeah i might want to maintain this because yeah, uh, for I the believe greenery. if I have this space, I'll be hosting parties. Yeah, they, they might not be big parties. Big parties but I yeah. want to make sure that just we have simple, enough space yeah. for people to walk around. Yeah, and if you want to use a pool, we can just go to the club. Yeah, which is very nearby there from this house. Yeah, from this house yeah. is pretty near. Yeah. yeah. However, however, yeah. if I was buying the plot, the half acre plot, because yeah. this house starts on a quarter acre. Yeah. So it's not so much this. Yeah. But if I was buying the half acre plot. Now I can put up a swimming pool that because now you have more space. True. Yeah, it would, it would look really nice. In fact, I came to it to see someone just buy that space and they even have some designs they're offering. Yeah, However, okay. you can come with your design as long as they approve it. Yeah. Uh, I would want to see the, from those, the design they have are very nice. Yeah. Uh, and I would want to see someone put up one of them and maybe even have a sort of a extended pool. Yeah. Floating pool. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today's show. My name is Mark Massa. Happy to be your host. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. And uh, behind the camera, as usual, is Willis. And Munene is somewhere eating because uh, <laughs> he has had a long morning. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Yeah.